What did you do? What did you do? I was listening to Revenge by Eptic and the synth is so sick. The main bass lead is legit. I want to show you guys how to make something like this. You know, more for beginners. I want to go easy, break it down one by one. There's a couple different layers and we keep it pretty simple. This is what it sounds like first. <laughs> We're gonna go over this sound here. And I will do a full breakdown of this whole project, which will also break down this, all the extra scratches and basses, and of course the drum loop as well. So if you guys wanna get that, it will be in the Patreon if you wanna get the full breakdown, as well as this project file and the serum presets. So go check that out in the link below. Otherwise, we're gonna get into this sound. So there's a couple things going on here. Lots of post-processing that's after Serum 2. There's a group with more post-processing. We're going to go over all this individually. The lows and highs here is going to be our main patch. First thing you got to do is just get Serum 2, load it up. And we're going to start from scratch. We're going to start with oscillator A only. And we're going to load up monster 8. This monster 8 is going to be at octave negative 2. We're going to add and make this LFO shape. You're going to grab the dots in the middle and move it over here. You're going to curve this up. You're also going to curve this up a little bit too. You're going to double click over here, pull the dot down, which is this dot. Pull it down and then make a little silence at the end. And put the rate in one half rate. This is going to be our main shape that controls everything. Now this LFO is going to be going on to this level knob. You're going to turn this level all the way down, add the LFO to it, and it's going to make it go from silent to loud. Keep in mind, your note that you're playing right now is D sharp 2, octave 2. So keep that in mind. You can write that note here. Remember, if you highlight this, right click and insert a MIDI clip, that will bring up your piano roll so that you can actually do that. Now, one important thing is this warp mode. So you're going to click on off and choose PD from B. We're going to turn this knob to 29% and we're going to add the LFO, drag it onto this knob and it will usually go all the way up. You're going to pull it down to 16%. When you drag the LFO to this level knob, it'll go all the way up and you'll just leave it there. This wavetable position is the last knob we move. Move it up to 152 and then add the LFO to it and go up uh, to 19%. So once again, you'll pull it down to 19% after you add it on there. So this is like the low frequency, low mid foundation. And we're going to add another oscillator, which will be the high frequencies. This PD from B will allow this oscillator to kind of blend in with oscillator A so that they form together. That's the phase distortion. And it'll start to get this out. So off, on. We're going to load up this square. So just turn up wavetable position to 5 to load this square. And go plus 3 on the octave. Listen to the difference if it's at 0. I bring it up pretty high. Also, listen to the PD from B. I'm going to turn this off and then turn it back on. Just adding an extra little oomph. Last letter B, we're going to turn the level all the way down and add the LFO to it. Have it go all the way up. And then PD from A, we're going to turn on. So now this oscillator is now going in to oscillator B. They're forming together both ways, both sides. And this will be at 45%. Now that you have this sound, we're going to add a filter to it. Really start to filter a lot of these frequencies away and have it move. You're going to load up Scream BP all the way here in miscellaneous. That's the Scream band pass. You're going to move the cutoff to 43 hertz and add LFO 1 to the cutoff. We're going to set it to 55%. This will have it move like this. Turn on A and B. Make sure those are on and... The resonance is at 22%. The drive is at 28%. These are going to amplify the sound even more, the filter. If you turn the drive down, it's quiet, so it's really helpful. The scream knob is also helping it move. The screen knob is at 26%. You're going to add the LFO to it and have this move as well. It's set to 35%. So before, after. We have LFO 2. 
over here, adding some extra pitch movement. This sync is turned on on this warp mode. We're going to add LFO2 to this knob and it goes up 24%. So make it go higher pitch even more. That's basically what it's doing. We're just setting that to 24%. Cool. Everything else is the same, one-fourth rate, standard shape. That's our foundation. Then we're going to turn on the compressor, turn it up to 9 dB gain. Amp up the signal, add a phaser, turn the mix down at 31%, and the frequency down to 74 hertz. Phaser adds some movement and width. The splitter low high goes on. It's this one, splitter low high. This will split the low frequencies and the high frequencies. And on the high frequencies, we're going to add hyper and you're going to add delay. This will make it wide. Hyper is at 78% and the delay is set uh, to link and milliseconds. And we uh, pulled it down to 33 milliseconds. Mix is at 23%. This has some metallic tones. We just do a little bit of it. That is a simple way to get that scream, high pitch bass lead. But we want some bass in it, some sub bass. So we're going to turn on the sub. Put it on negative two and just the levels set to 100. Nice. So let's go ahead and look at this clip. This is just two bars in length here. We're in D sharp minor. So the scale is set, all these highlighted notes we can use. We're gonna use the root note most of the time, D sharp. Then we walk up to the third, walk down to the second. If you look here, it loops back over here. Then we kind of change it at the end. So we have two different sections here. The whole thing is four bars. So you can kind of do whatever you want here with the notes, have fun with it. We need to get this even louder though, so we're going to add this OTT. Look at all these settings here. We want to make sure they're exactly the same. You're going to turn off these lows, adjust your inputs, adjust your outputs, and adjust these ratios here on the above and the below. All these numbers need to match here, and the amount is at 36%. Then saturator will turn it up even more, 10 dB drive, 80% dry wet. Really pumping it up. Reverb is next. It's at a short decay time, so it's tight reverb, 995 milliseconds, and 10% dry wet. I had this EQ weight so I can boost the sub bass and boost the highs. I will measure the sub bass and use my luffs to determine if the sub is loud enough or not. We just use this EQ weight to turn up the sub. And we turn up some highs too over here. It gets really harsh and abrasive, so I use the Soothe plugin. And it automatically turns down the harsh frequencies. It is magic. I really recommend this plugin. If you don't have it, then you'll have to turn down the frequencies manually in the same areas that you see it turning down here. So from 1000 to 8000. Beautiful plugin. This is measuring how loud it is, and then a G clip just ends it so it doesn't go past zero. Just controlling the signal, and we turn it down to negative 1.8 here on the track volume. This erosion is going to be automated, so I turn it on only in this section. I right click this, show automation, and I'll create these dots so I can turn it on at the beginning. You'll hear this white noise. So it's just making it a little bit fatter and beefier with that white noise that it's adding. I'll exaggerate it so you hear what it's doing. That's the white noise. Just, just on the beginning hits, just to add some more differences in movement and variation. So this is the main patch, but we also need it to be full. Right now, it's not, it's missing a lot of the low mids that is needed. So this other patch, is meant to support it and be the layer. And then we add more processing on both of those.
But I want to make sure that, you know, the beginners can just easily make this patch first. Practice this and you'll be on your road to success. It takes a little bit of practice to post-process it, but you'll be able to get it. If you guys want to watch the full breakdown of this, where I break down the low mids, the drums, and all the extra rhythm and groove elements, go into my Patreon and get that full breakdown. Otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're super close to 10,000. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Keep on making them bangers. Peace. Peace out.